Hi everyone. Let's have a look at the next concept on time, speed and distance. The concept over here is the concept of average speed. Now, when I use the word average, the first thing which comes to our mind is say if there are two numbers and I want to find the average of two numbers, then it's A plus B upon 2 or the average age of three boys in a class, A plus B plus C upon 3. But that would not necessarily be correct in case of average speed. So if suppose the speeds are 20, 40, 60, you can't just simply add them and divide by 3. It will depend on a lot of other things. So what we would suggest is that instead of doing that, every time if you use this formula, average speed is total distance traveled upon total time taken. So whenever you come across an average speed question, if you use this method, you will never go wrong. Let's look at some examples and maybe some other methods to find average speed. The first one, a man covers the first 150 kilometers of his journey at a speed of 30 km per hour. The next 320 km of his journey at a speed of 80 km per hour. Question asked is, what is his average speed for the entire journey? So let's have a look. So this is the man, he walks from position A to B, which is say 150 kilometers. Then walks from there another 320 kilometers. So the total distance covered by him is 470 kilometers. So now if I go back to my formula, what was my formula? Total distance traveled upon total time taken. We know the total distance traveled is 470. But what about the total time? You don't know that. What you will have to do is calculate time at both the stages separately first. So the time will be 150 divided by 30, that will be 5 hours, plus 320 divided by 80, that will be another 4 hours. So the total time will be 9 hours, right? Got that much? Why did we need the total time? Because the formula said total distance traveled upon total time taken. And hence the average speed will become 470 divided by 9, which will be approximately 52.2 km per hour. So now that was the first kind of average speed example where we saw that a person is traveling different distances at different speeds. Let's look at the next example. The next example of average speed is where distance remains constant. A person covers three different stretches of the same lens at speeds of 30 km per hour, 60 km per hour and 90 km per hour. What is his average speed for the entire journey? So what's happening over here? He's going from A to B which is say nx distance, b to c same distance and c to d also same distance. Every time his speed is different, in case 1 his speed is 30, case 2 speed is 60 and case 3 speed is 90. Now we can say whenever distance is constant, average speed will always be the harmonic mean of the speeds. Please remember this, whenever distance is constant, average speed will be harmonic mean of the speeds. We know, your form we know our formula for harmonic mean, that is, if the harmonic mean of 30, 60, 90 has to be calculated, it will be 3 upon 1 upon 30 plus 1 upon 60 plus 1 upon 90. On solving that, you get 49 kilometers per hour. This is definitely one method to do that. But there could have been one more method. I had already told you in the starting that whenever you want to do average speed, you can do total distance upon total time taken. How would you use that method for this question? What you could do over here was take the LCM of 30, 60, 90. The LCM of 30, 60, 90 could be 180. So 180 distance is every time. So every time we cover the distance of 180. So 180 in the first case, 180 in the second and 180 in the third. So total distance becomes 540. Please look at your calculation. The 540 still comes as it is. What about time in each part? 180 divided by 30 would be 6. 180 divided by 60 would be 3. 180 divided by 90 would be 2 and you would still get the same answer. That is, you will still get 11 hours and hence your answer will still be approximately 49 kilometers per hour. So whichever method you use, so if you can remember that whenever distance is constant, you have to use harmonic mean, great, you can use that. If you don't, you can use average speed as total distance upon total time. Let's look at example 3 of the same for one more example on average speed. This time the time is constant. A person covers a particular journey at three different speeds, 30, 60 and 90, each for equal interval of time, which means he is traveling say for one hour at 30, for one more hour at 30, uh, 60 and for third hour at 90. What is his average speed? What is the property? Whenever time is constant, average speed is the arithmetic mean of the speeds. That is the rule you need to remember. So average speed in that case will become directly 30 plus 60 plus 90 upon 3 
which will be 60 kilometers per hour. The rule is average speed is the arithmetic mean of the speeds. Again, if you don't want to use this, you can go back to your original method. Average speed is total distance upon total time. What you could have easily done over here was assume the time to be one hour for every stretch and you would have got the same answer. So that covers your concept on average speed. We've done enough examples for you to explain the whole concept well.